Hey, what's up, YouTube? Pure Blaze here, bringing you guys another episode of Pixelmon Nuzlocke. So, this is episode three. As you guys saw last episode, we got the plot of land set up and we did some basics. But now we are going to get started. This time, we're going to start with the adventure part and then do the survival late. What the heck? Oh my god, that scared me. And we're going to do the survival part later on. So, we're going to move on as we talk, just because. As you, you guys already know what it is. It's just going down the path. We're going to battle a couple trainers. And then we're going to get into the next area. We're going to start off with Snubble. We, Snubble needs some time to shine. Magneton. Okay. Wait, no, no. I, I misclicked. I meant to use Fire Fang. Whoops. Okay. But as you guys know, it's pretty much just the path and then at least the next town. So it's nothing that's super exciting where it's like, whoa, I can't believe that just happened. But it's nothing where it's like, wow, that, that was really lame. Or at least, I, I don't think so. I don't think it's that lame. So, what I've also decided is, you know, last episode, I just caught my Snubble straight up. I kind of ran into a couple Pokemon here and there. I was considering catching the Oddish. But in the end, I just decided to myself, it's better off if I find something that interests me a bit more to have as my first Pokemon. Earlier today, well, a couple minutes ago, I was thinking about it. And... Usually in my Pixelmon series, I'm off camera, and I cut back in, and I'm like, Oh, guys, look, look what we found. We found a Lucario. Let's catch this. And it feels, what's the word? Cheap, or do you lose the connection with your viewers, kind of? Like, if I would have found the Snubble live with you guys, you know how awesome that would have been? It would have been like, whoa, Fear just found a Snubble. Oh, froze you solid, Charmander, and you thought out. Nice. It'd be like, whoa, Fear found a Snubble with us live. And then you guys would have a little bit more of a connection with it. If I just cut back and forth like, yeah, guys, off camera, I found a Star You, And cut back in and then catch the Star You. You don't know the journey we've been through with Star You. It's whatever. So I think that's one thing that I want. Are we going to die? Oh, no. Oh, no. Snubble? Snubble, what the heck? We are gathered here today in the funeral of Snubble, who decided to miss Ice Fang four times in a row. And me, like the idiot I am, thought, hey, Snubble, he's not an idiot. He'll be able to hit one attack. One attack. But apparently the smoke screen that Charmander set up, turn number one, was enough to put me in the dumpsters. And now we got to get rid of our Snubble. The Snubble I was looking at, and I was gloating about the Cloud and Timmy, and I was like, whoa, guys, yeah, this thing has an 8% chance of finding, or like 5% chance in the wild, 5.45%. I'm so lucky. I'm like the luckiest person ever. Super lucky, bro. Here are the PCs. Now, I'm thinking, because I could throw it in the garbage, or I could leave it in the PC for... No, we, we gotta let Snubble go. We gotta let him go. I was gonna say we could leave it in the PC... So this way, at the end of the series, we could go back and say, oh, our Snubble died. All right, I'm going to make a list, though, on my computer. Snubble. Number one. Goodbye, Snubble. Forever. All right, we're back. I'm composed. And I did see from the corner of my eye a green boss, Sandshrew. But we can't fight it because if our Torchic dies, it's all over. So, um, I... Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. Because it's like, we... Could go down. Oh god, wait, I I just fought this guy. I couldn't remember who I fought and who I didn't fight. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I don't deserve this. I just I didn't know if I fought you. Okay, wait, never mind. This is the weak guy. This is the weak guy. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Alright, that guy's done. Oh, peck. Let rid of growl. Oh! oh! Torchic's evolving! Bum 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 bum. Nice. So now we have a combuskin. And we can fiddle around and try to find our second Pokemon. Again, it's just that type of thing where the second Pokemon we catch may not be great. It may not be amazing. It may not be something that I really want or that you guys really want to see. But double kick, nice. But it's just something to have as a, I don't want to use this word, placeholder. Just to have, so this way if Combuskin dies, the entire series isn't over. Not going to lie, too lazy to go back. I'm just going to give him a potion. Because if you, you can actually go back to the area where you spawn and rebattle Ash. And when you rebattle him, he gives you more potions and Pokeballs. And I did accidentally do that because I, oh, wait, what's over here? 
because I went back, I randomly threw, well, Timmy did it first, and then I did it, and he gave us stuff, so we were like, wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, we're back. I had to re-log, and then by the time I re-logged and got back on, I just decided to myself that it'd be better off if I went to go heal and ran back here, just because it's one of those things that it's not that important. Whoa, that was trippy. It's not that important where you have to go see me heal because I might have done something sketchy off camera. Because I... Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Holy moly. What the hell? Oh my god. We are playing with straight fire. Huh. Next up, this guy. What you got, man? What you got? Level 13 flip. These guys are progressively getting to a higher and higher level where it's making me nervous. Like, this, if this is only Pokemon, it's like, whatever, bro. But if he's got more, I'm going to be scared. Coughing. This is making me think that the next gym leader is potentially a... Fire-type gym leader? I have to say so. I mean, come on. Look at the stuff we're running into. It's got to be a fire-type gym leader. Oh! Okay. Okay. What's up ahead? That If that's Pokemon Center, we're good. We're going to heal. And then we're just going to scan the area, see if anything wild is around here, and get to that. But two times we survived on three health. Coughing no self-destruct for some reason. Hey, guys. So, at this point of the video, I was going to cut and add in a building part of the episode. Where, at least, Timmy on? No, he's not. Okay. And add in a little part where you guys can just see how me and Timmy built the house area and stuff like that. But it didn't turn out how I expected. So, I can show you guys a little clip of it now, but it ended up just being way too much. Y you guys will see it. So, I'm going to cut here, show you guys a clip of the idea that we had. It's really not much. Then we found something special, and then we'll cut back. I'll be right back. This needs to be one more. This needs to be cobblestone right here. Where? Like this. So we're doing it three? Yeah? Yeah. And then one above with the slabs? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that one's gone. Uh, uh. I'll build yeah, the Yeah, let's just go all the way across with this. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Hope I get a Ooh, master bolt. I got a master bolt here! Whoa! Whoa! It's no, a no way, dude. No way. Uh-uh. How come? Where, where's his No brother? way. Cool, he says. <laughs> no way. I say I hope I get a Master Ball. What in the heck? Oh, my helmet. Okay, we're back. I think it's slash home. Home I said it to. And it was very underwhelming. I, whoa. Star Raptor. Nice. It was very underwhelming because as you guys saw in the clip, we were laying out the cobblestone. We got the border there done. But then for other parts, I mentioned it to me, we need lighting. And then we started putting, we started testing out a bunch of different methods of how we could do it. Then we started stacking it here and Timmy did it uneven. So I had to do math and like pretty much just 20. I just divided it and put five of them. And it's just, it wasn't very like, oh wow, amazing. Cause it was just me in silence counting in my head, punching like one, two, three, four, block, one, two, three. And we were just sitting there in silence. And then after that, I was sitting here smelting sand for Timmy, sitting here taking it out of the furnace, throwing it to him while he built out this pattern. And then I put in the glass, he put in the top row, and that was it. That was legit it. And we decided we want to make our chest room like this. And of course, nobody wants to see sorting. So I ended up sorting these because it was late and I don't think Timmy was in the mood to sort. So I just made up the chest. Like we got apricorns there, wood stuff, Evolution stones, consumables, like, I, I don't know. I didn't, I ran out of ideas. Tools, mob drops, uh, plant stuff, held items. We got TMs. We got random stuff, which is like, I don't know. I was going to make a clothing chest, but that may be a waste. Ores and valuables and blocks. Now, some may be wondering, Fear, why do you have these TMs on you? Now, Timmy and I decided that we were going to share everything on the server, but these two, I found on my own, and if they were like, meh, whatever TMs, I'd put them away. And if I had an excessive amount of them, I'd say to myself, okay, I just gotta leave them in the community chest and not touch them. 
All right, let's battle Ash and let's get some uh some more supplies. Wait. Please tell me this works. No. Oh my god. It was a glitch after all. Holy moly, I gotta make my own Pokeballs. I gotta tell Timmy ASAP about that. Wow, that's awkward. At this point in the video, I was lagging super hard. As you can probably see in the background, holy moly, it was bad. But I ended up trying to catch a second Pokemon because the spawn rates were really low originally. But the day this is voiced over, sadly, they upped the, well, thankfully, they upped the spawn rates again. So it looks crazy. Like every other episode, this server is obviously not established yet. It's not that big of a server. So they're messing around with it a lot. So one day the spawn rates will be super low. You won't run into anything. And then you'll see as I run through after I caught my Mareep, there's so many Pokemon I see by. Like I saw Jumpluff and Driploom and stuff. And I've never seen them before on the server. So they're more plentiful. But anyway, I decided to just catch my second Pokemon because it was really getting me mad. It's been like a week of me trying to catch a second one on camera for you guys. And I just snapped. I said, you know, I'm just going to catch it off camera. And of course, I wanted to level it a little bit because if I didn't level it, the next episode and a half or so would just be me leveling my Mareep. Because as you can see, I go down this entire road here to the first town and then battle like three trainers past the first town. And Mareep only gained two levels, I think. Imagine this. This is sped up times three. Imagine it in normal time. This is maybe a two, three minute clip. That'd be nine minutes. Yeah, for two levels. Then imagine two levels after that. So, eh, I think it's worth it speeding it up. Hopefully you guys don't mind. The second gym is, I think, level 13s. And behind him, when we went to go check it out, he had a Charizard and Blaziken behind him. So, I mean, if we get Flaffy to a high enough level, he should be able to take out Charizard. And then Combuskin can maybe just double kick the Blaziken to death. So, We'll see what we can do. The next episode, I'm thinking maybe we'll just do straight up adventure. So we'll probably train a little bit, get Flaffy and Combuskin to maybe level, we'll say 20 together. And then once they're both level 20, we'll go take on that gym, take it down, and that will be the next episode. And maybe we'll go on a little bit farther and go on the boat and stuff like that. But I don't think I want to go past the boat on the next episode. Anyway. That's the game plan. I had to cut here because my texture started going crazy, which you guys will see in a second. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys did enjoy, remember to leave a thumbs up and drop any suggestions or comments down below. And of course, if you guys want the IP, I see a lot of you guys asking. If I don't reply, always go back to the first episode and check because the IP is always in the first episode. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.